Hey everybody, so 343 actually surprised everyone today and dropped two new playlists on Halo Infinite. The Social Slayer playlist and the Ranked Free For All playlists are both live now and people seem to be really enjoying them. Social Slayer has Kong Slayer, the Infinite Fusion Coil Throwing Madness, Rocket Repulses, Purple Rain, Ninja Slayer, and then Rocket Dodgeball, so there's two different Rocket based action sacky game modes. It honestly feels like action sack, not social slayer because there isn't any real normal slayer game modes. And then ranked free for all has BR start slayer and then king of the hill. Free for all king of the hill is very random. It's based on where you spawn, will people target you? There's people who don't play the objective and will just single you out. Therefore, you can never win. I'm surprised Free For All King of the Hill for Ranked made it through testing and quality assessment, and I think it should be removed because for Ranked, there shouldn't be these random elements. It should be based on who's the best player, and I don't think King of the Hill is very reflective of that. An extra little side note is it's pretty much dead on arrival for anyone outside of America. I couldn't even finish my placement matches because I couldn't find any more games, so that is an issue in and of itself. I have also noticed, and this is exactly what I was talking about yesterday, about the balancing and the weighting of what game modes come up on Halo Infinite. And I'll put the weightings up on screen now so you can see, but Rocket Repulses and Rocket Dodgeball both have the highest weightings, the highest percentage of how likely you are to play the game mode. The higher the number, the more likely it is you're going to play it. And I've noticed, I played 15 games, 10 out of 15, were rocket launcher only. I really wanted to get footage of Kong Slayer, Purple Rain, the Needler mode, and then some extra Ninja Slayer content, but all I got was rockets. I didn't really play the other modes because they just didn't come up. So a piece of feedback would be to reduce how often rockets comes up and maybe add in some extra game modes here and there. Now we have been waiting for Kong Slayer and all these other fun game modes to make their debut on Halo Infinite. We've known they've been coming for a while. We didn't know exactly when, but it just goes to show, if you don't hype something up like you do for the world premiere and you just release the content, the overwhelming reception is gonna be yay, new content. The impact it has on the overall player base is much more positive. And that's what 343 needs to do more of. As content is ready, release it. Halo Infinite now has 14 different playlists. I would love to see a 5v5 or a 6v6 playlist, which I thought Social Slayer would have been, added to Halo Infinite as well. I'm not sure if 343 is going to keep all of these playlists or they're just testing to see what's popular in the blog post they released today. Unishek actually said that this will further test what players enjoy playing. So if you do want to see more fun modes on Halo Infinite, play some games of Social Slayer, play some games of BTB Social to show 343 this is content you want to see more of. With all of that said, what do you think of the Social Slayer and Ranked Free For All playlist? Have you played any games? Let me know what you think in the comments below. More content is always good, but thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.